Dr. Eric here, talking to you today about a typical semen analysis report and what it means and how to interpret it. This is what a typical semen analysis report looks like. If you provided a good specimen and had the same findings on two separate specimens, then these results should be accurate. The first thing to understand about sperm and semen is that they're not the same thing. Sperm are the swimmers. Semen is the liquid. Not all semen has sperm, but all sperm is in semen. The first thing we see is the color. Certain discolorations could suggest blood or infection. Certain foods and medications can also cause a change in color. An abnormal color may mean some additional tests are needed, such as PSA testing, urine testing, or culture of the semen. Next is volume. This is the total amount of fluid you produced when you ejaculated into the cup. A high volume means nothing. A low volume usually, though not always, means that the fluid is being blocked or going in the wrong direction. If you have a low volume, your doctor will often ask you to repeat the test and then collect your urine to see if the semen is passing into your bladder instead of out of the penis. This could be due to some nerve problems, medications, or surgeries. Liquefaction is how rapidly the semen gel turns into a liquid. Infections and dehydration can cause abnormal liquefaction. This process relies on certain enzymes in the semen, so if those enzymes are abnormal due to genetic issues, that could be another cause. The pH of the semen should be greater than 7.2. A high pH could indicate infection. A low pH could indicate blockage of the seminal vesicles. An abnormal pH affects the sperm and the enzymes in the semen. Viscosity of the semen can relate to infection or oxidative stress. It's a measure of how thick or watery the semen is. Oxidative stress is when too many free radicals or damaging particles are present in the semen. If this is the case for you, your doctor may recommend antioxidants such as vitamin C or E. When the semen is too thick, it can inhibit the movement of the sperm. Sperm concentration is very important. When low, this could mean that the sperm are being blocked from getting from the testicle to the penis, or that the testicles aren't making enough sperm. You may hear the terms oligospermia and azospermia. Oligospermia is a low sperm concentration, and azospermia is when there are no sperm at all. The total count is the concentration multiplied by the volume. It gives a sense of the overall picture. Gallons of semen with no swimmers is useless, just like a drop of semen with millions of swimmers is also useless. The modile count is the sperm concentration multiplied by the volume multiplied by the percent motility. Along with the percent motility, these values give us a sense of how well the sperm you have are functioning. Having swimmers is good, but if they aren't moving, they aren't useful. Low motility can be related to varicocele, diet, excessive heat to the scrotum like hot tubs, or obesity and certain toxins. The grade of progression refers to the forward movement of sperm. Grade zero is when the sperm shows no signs of movement. Grade one is where the sperm move but fail to progress in a forward motion. Grade two is where the sperm moves slowly and in a poorly defined direction, but they're moving. Grade three, the sperm move forward, but at a slower speed and or in a curved direction. Grade four is with fast and forward progression where the sperm move in a straight line. Progression is important because it tells us how well the moving sperm swim. Are they moving in straight lines or just swimming in circles? If they can't progress forward, they'll never find the egg to bind and penetrate. Poor progression can be due to abnormal genetics, smoking, and varicocele. When the sperm clump together abnormally, this is called agglutination. The sperm want to be free solo swimmers, but when they're stuck together, they just can't move. It's like trying to run a sprint in a three-legged race. 
Most commonly, this clumping is due to anti-sperm antibodies, which occur when the body's immune system improperly targets the sperm. The final component is the morphology, or how normal the sperm look. Sperm with abnormal heads aren't able to penetrate the outer layer of the egg. These sperm are also frequently found to contain abnormal DNA. Abnormal morphology can be due to abnormal genetics of the male, which cannot be fixed. Other causes that can be fixed include toxic exposures and increased temperature. Depending on the findings of your semen analysis, your doctor may ask for additional tests. Hopefully, this video has helped you make sense of your semen analysis report.